iPad Literers, it's so nice to see you. I'm Karen from iPad Littering and in today's video I want to show you how to create this super cute floral littering piece with the appropriate app on your iPad. You can use this for your bullet journal cover or you could make a greeting card or an invitation from this. The options are endless. Let's start by looking for a reference picture on Google. When selecting your reference image you want to look for a photo that has a few different magnolia flowers at different blooming stages. So we are going to long tab and save it to the photos app. Now let's start up the Procreate app and create a new canvas. I'm using my small watercolor template for this but you can totally use a blank canvas too and you want to set that size to 2048 pixels by 2560 pixels and then it's already a good size for posting on Instagram. If you're intending to print this then I recommend setting the canvas size to the size of your final print. So now we are going to bring in the reference image that we have downloaded before. So we're going to go insert photo and then select the image and you can see that it's really really small so we can make it a lot bigger and I recommend that you make it as big as it goes. And yes, it becomes a little bit blurry, but that's all right. It doesn't matter too much because what we're going to do next is we're going to trace it. And now you can see my watercolor template has the textures background. So I'm going to turn this off for now because we don't need it. And I'm actually also going to turn off the background color for now. And then we're going to decrease the opacity of this as well, just to make it a little bit easier to see when we are tracing the image. Then select a new layer. The brush that I'm going to use is called Dry Ink. This brush is part of Procreate already. It's part of the inking set. This is a really nice brush. It creates some rough textures, but it's really nice for drawing. It's slightly pressure sensitive and it gives it a slightly rough outline. I've got the brush size set to 3%. And now what we're going to do is trace the individual petals of our magnolia. And then for the center of the magnolia, I'm just going to fill it with black here doesn't have to be too precise. One of the things you need to make sure is that you are closing all the lines here because we are going to fill the shape with white color later on. And so if you have any gaps, then it will make it really hard to fill the shape. So you want to make sure that you are closing all the gaps. And now these flowers have a little bit of an overlap. So we're going to draw that in as well. And then we are also going to draw some lines here in the middle and you want to make sure that they're not super straight but sort of follow the contour of your petals here and then all around and then maybe we can make some finer lines here as well and now we're going to create a new layer and trace that second flower and again we're going to create a little wrap around here as well and then the little lines here contouring the shape of the petals again. And then what you might like to do as well is actually trace the branch here. So this is more as a practice so that you know how the branches are formed. And so we're just going to sort of trace the outline and then we can make them a little bit thicker here at the top. We can also increase that brush size just to make it a bit faster to do this as well and to create some thicker strokes. So you can see the branches are actually quite thick. So we don't have to be afraid to making them too thick. All right, so now this looks good. So now we can hide our reference image. And then we are also going to hide all our other shapes because now it's time to create the letter. So now we're going to go to actions, add, and then add text. And we are going to write the word joyful. And we're going to use the Montserrat font. This is a Google font. You can get this for free from Google. And if you're not sure how to install fonts on your iPad, I'm going to link another video so that you can find out how to install the font on your iPad. It's super easy. It doesn't take too long so you can do that as well and then we're going to duplicate this and move this a little bit further down like this edit text and then double tap and now we can change the word here to full so it'll say joyful 
So now what you could do if you wanted to is duplicate the letters and then go to edit text and then you can select the outline. So this is going to create a thicker version of your letters and I think it's really nice to do that so that you have a slightly different letter. So we're going to go edit text and then we are going to select outline and now it's time to place our floral so now we can grab the first floral and i recommend that you create a copy of it so that you can keep the original and then we can move this around and we can resize it and you won't lose any of your resolution if you resize it because you could just grab the copy so now what we're going to do is actually fill this with white and again what you want to do here instead of filling the shape directly, you want to create a new layer and then you want to mark this layer as a reference layer. So you're going to tap on reference and you'll see here it says reference. And then you're going to select this layer and now we are going to fill this shape with white. So now we're going to select white from our colors. And then what you can do is drag the color swatch onto the floral and now it's going to fill it with white. And now we can group these two layers and then we can turn that reference layer off again because we don't need it anymore. And now we're going to do the same thing for all the other florals as well. So we're going to take a copy and then we are going to fill all the shapes with white with that same technique. We're going to create a new layer. We're going to set our florals layer as the reference layer. And then we are going to drag in the white colors. And now it's time to position these florals on the letters and you can see they are still behind the text layer. So now what we need to do is open up the layers panel and then we can drag them above the letters like this. We are going to create some copies as well because we want to use them more than once. And now we can distribute the florals here on our letters. Just rotating them ever so slightly makes them look not all the same. So this is a super simple trick to reuse your shapes but not have them look all the same. The next thing we want to do is add some of those branches. So now what we can do is grab the branches we already have and then maybe we can create some more around here and maybe through here as well. Then cut this part here and maybe move it this way a little bit. And then we can erase the parts that we don't want. Then we can paint in some more here. So the next thing we want to do is add some little more branches here as well. So we're going to create a new layer again, of course. And I recommend that you add the layer to the top because you want to make it in the front. And now for the little embellishments and the little leaves that we're going to draw, you could continue using the dry ink brush if you wanted to, but we're going to make them a little bit smaller. And so the rough texture of the dry ink brush can look a little bit pixelated at a small size. So you could also use one of the monoline brushes that come with Procreate such as the studio pen but I'm going to use my totally crispy brush this is a brush that I use for all my doodles it creates a super smooth nice line and I like using this a lot I've got the brush set to 2% and now we can draw some little leaves here just some cute little leaves like this and then maybe little berries as well and now you can see here I've been drawing over the black letter so what you can do now if you wanted to you could decrease the opacity of the letters to make it a little bit easier to see so now I'm just going to turn this down ever so slightly and here as well and now you can see that this looks nice here and then we are also going to fill the leaves with white again And then once you're happy with that word, of course, you can turn up the opacity again to see what this looks like. And you can see now how it's nice, how the little white leaves blend into the letters like this. And then another thing you can do as well is use the warp tool. So if you're not quite happy with how you've drawn this shape, you can definitely move them around ever so slightly if you wanted to curve them a little bit or ever so slightly align them, you can do that at this point as well. 
so this is super handy and then of course we need to do the same thing with the word at the top here i really like how cute these little leaves look you can add as many as you like but i recommend that you only add a few here and there to complement your composition now you can turn your background layer back on and you might also like to turn your texture layers back on if you're using that watercolor template. Alternatively, you could also choose a different background color. For example, a light pink color will look very nice for our magnolia blossoms. And now over to you. I really hope you found this little tutorial useful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then I'm also going to bloop up another couple of videos with illustrations for you to practice your Procreate skills. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.